Today we are going to look at some of the best mini home lab servers that we can find this year. We will see simpler and more economical solutions and others that are more complex and more expensive, but that will allow us to choose according to our current and future needs. Some of them we have already reviewed individually here on the channel and I will leave links on the YouTube cards in the upper right corner and also on the video description. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe to follow the individual reviews of each one as well as the installation of software that will allow us to get more of each of these computers. And if you still haven't activated your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, don't forget to check out KeysFan where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that we can see on screen and down below in the video description, you will get even a bigger discount. And let's start with the NanoPi R6C that comes in a simple box and according to the chosen options, we can have a power adapter or not. In this case, it doesn't and I will have to provide a USB Type-C charger. It's available in several configurations and what we have here today is the version with 8GB of RAM and 32GB of EMC storage with the possibility of being able to add an SSD and for that you just have to open the metallic box and add the SSD that we want. I did put in a separate 2TB. One of the options that I strongly suggest is this metal box which is without a doubt one of the best that I've seen so far for this type of computer. Completely made of metal, heavy and it will promote a very good cooling solution. If we open it up we can see that it makes contact with the CPU and will allow for a passive cooling. The NanoPi R6C features one of the Rockship latest socks, the RK3588S, with 4 or 8 gigabytes of RAM and with or without EMC storage. It has a USB Type-C for power, HDMI 2.1, 1 gigabit 1 port, 2.5 gigabit LAN port, USB 2.0, USB 3.0, USB-C for the bug and a plastic cover that covers a hole if we want to connect a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth antenna. The operating system is Friendly WRT, which is a customized version of OpenWRT aimed at IoT, NASH units and mini servers. However, more importantly, it allows us not only to use Friendly WRT, but also other operating systems. We just need to download the operating system of our choice, put it on a micro SD card and install it, such as Android, Android TV, Linux Debian, Linux Ubuntu, and my favorite, Friendly WRT with Docker, that opens up a world of possibilities. And for having all these capabilities combined with an attractive price, it is on my list of the best mini home lab. This is the iCool Core R1, which is without a doubt one of the smallest PCs I've ever seen. It comes in a simple box with a USB Type-C power adapter, user manual, some accessories and of course the iCool Core R1. The first impression is very good in terms of construction. The box is all metal, very solid and well designed. The top part is easily removed and gives access to the M.2 slot for the SSD. But honestly, I only found out after opening the whole unit, consisting of two boards and a copper heat sink with an active but silent fan to help cool this mini server. It has four Ethernet ports, two 2.5 gig Intel i226, which is ideal for anyone who wants, in addition to a server, a router with the ability to manage multiple networks. It has an HDMI port, USB C for power, two USB 3.0 ports, and power button. On the side, a USB Type-C and micro SD slot. This unit has the Intel Quad-Core N5105, but there is an option for the Intel N6005. 8GB of RAM, but optionally 16, which we can't upgrade later. And the unit that I've received has 128GB NVMe SSD, but we can choose to have none and put our own or 512 gigs. Being an Intel machine, we can install any operating system, Windows, Linux, or any other. It comes 
pre-installed with Proxmox, which is, in my opinion, what will get the most out of it. I did a clean install of Proxmox, and in a few minutes, I had installed Home Assistant and even OpenWRT. But I could also install Docker and many other virtual machines. We have already made some videos about Proxmox from installing and configuring virtual machines. I will leave some links down below on the video description. The iCool Core R1 is an ultra small machine with a great capacity to become not only a mini home lab, but also to replace our router. The Zima board has a spectacular design. It is a very well built single board server with two Ethernet ports, USB 3.0, mini display port, two connections for SATA disks, and in my opinion, the differentiating factor is the PCI Express slot where we can connect any expansion card, be it storage or any other. There are three versions available with 2GB of RAM up to 8, Intel dual core or quad core CPUs and internal storage of 16 or 32 gigs. Being a computer with an Intel CPU, we can run any operating system that we want. And it could be a good choice for our mini home lab, especially for those that are planning to replace the router and simultaneously use virtual machines through Proxmox or even the Casa OS, which is the operating system that comes by default with the Zima board. We have already done the full review and other software installation videos, which I will leave down below in the video description. The go in R86SU4 has several variants, but the model I have here is a level above, especially because it has, in addition to the three 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports, also two 10 gigabit ports. Very good quality metal construction. The box is heavy and acts as a heat sink. When we open the unit, we can see that it has a fan to cool the 10 gigabit NICs and next to it, a slot for NVMe SSDs, where I put in a two terabyte Sabrent. And in the upper part, there is a second fan that will cool down the CPU, but we will go deeper in the individual review. A USB 2.0 port, one USB 3.0 port, micro SD card slot, mini HDMI and power button. At the back, USB-C for power, USB 3.0 and the three 2.5 gigabit ports along with the 10 gigabit connections. The 10 gigabit ones are SFP plus, so we will need to use the RJ45 adapters like the key SFP tech the ones that I'm using at this moment and the link will be down below. It has Wi-Fi and two external antennas to increase the signal capacity. The CPU is an Intel Quad Core N6005 with 32 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigs of EMC flash storage that can be expanded through NVMe. The operating system that we can use are almost unlimited. It comes with Windows 11 pre-installed, but we can easily install Proxmox, Linux, PFSense, OPNSense, among others, that allow us to take full advantage of this mini server. For someone who wants to replace the router with 10 gigabit capacity and simultaneously run virtual machines with Home Assistant, Plex servers, Jellyfin, among others, this could be the right choice. However, there are other more basic versions if we don't need the 10 gigabit and even with other CPU and RAM configurations, so link down below. Hello. The CWWK Firewall is the highest CPU performing machine in this group. With an AMD R7 5800U, 8GB of RAM, optionally up to 64, and a 256GB SSD, which will go up to 1TB, and there are also three CPU choices. A all metallic box, well built and beautiful in my opinion, which will serve as a heatsink. In fact, if we look at the heatsink and fan, they are glued to the top of the box to cool down the whole unit. Four 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports, which makes it a good candidate for managing not only one network, but several networks, in addition to its mini server potential. HDMI, DisplayPort and power input, 
on and off button usb type c two usb 2.0 two usb 3.0 and one micro sd card slot when we open the unit we will find options to place in three nvme ssds one already came with the 256 gigs the second space is easy to identify where i did put in a two terabyte sabrent but the third is in a weird position and we will see it more in detail on the individual review there are also some connectors for SATA discs where we can connect two of them we will have to give up the bottom fan if we want to place the discs inside the case depending on the version that we choose we can install our ram or upgrade it which is also quite easy i did use two sticks of 16 gigs each of sabrent tdr4 it comes without a operating system but we can install any i did install windows 11 to be able to do some performance benchmarks and some temperature tests but in my opinion the most suitable here will be hypervisor like proxmox that we can virtualize any machine that we want and with the performance of this cpu combined with the ability to upgrade the ram we will have plenty of room to maneuver to be able to run several virtual machines which seems to me to be a poorly used machine just for one operating system such as opn sense or pf sense the shui lark is a mini computer that we have seen here in the past and although it's intended to be used as a windows machine it appears on my list because it has two ethernet ports they are one gigabit ports therefore limited compared to the machines we have been seeing but it could be interesting from a price and performance point of view it has a amd ryzen 7 3750h quad core cpu with eight gigabytes of ram upgradable 32 gigs and a 256 gig ssd which is upgradable up to one terabyte at the moment of the recording there is a newer model with a more current cpu which is the intel n100 ember pro is a unit that can serve as a wi-fi router nas and mini home lab server with a cute design nas router look alike and less pc look and despite a plastic construction this unit looks really cool it has one hdmi output one gigabit wan port two gigabit lan ports one usb 3.0 a and one usb 3.0 c if we remove the bottom screws we can have access to the 2.5 inch discs that are inside the unit in two separate bays that are easily removed and if necessary we can replace the discs with larger units this configuration comes with two two terabyte discs that will allow us to store our personal data as well as the installation of all the apps that we want the cpu is an intel dual core up to 2.6 gigahertz wi-fi ac 2600 and amber os operating system which looks really complete with options for managing the device itself options for managing the as space and some services and options for managing the network if we use it to replace the router and then more advanced options that will allow us to use other services like docker containers that will allow us to install any app that exists for docker which means that we can just choose any i'm curious to test out the operating system and its capabilities in more depth and if you also are curious subscribe to the channel so that you can receive notifications when the video goes live the flash store 12 pro is the latest asus Tor nas with 10 gigabit connection and 12 slots for nvme ssds with the possibility of upgrading the ram a machine that is very well achieved at all levels and that could be an excellent option for anyone that wants a nas unit or mini server with the adm operating system that we already know and that will allow us to install apps very easily and in addition it also allows to use services such as docker which will open a world of possibilities for using services such as home assistant servers jellyfin plex among a lot others i will leave links down below in the video description for the full review so that you can check it in more detail today we saw eight different options to be able to use it as our mini home lab server and run our apps and services almost all allow us to replace the management of our network so that we can stop depending on our operator's router and can control everything from one of these devices network capacity ranging from one gigabit up to 10 gigabits some with greater performance and others 
with greater storage capacity. All of them, in my opinion, will be able to help us to run our services efficiently. Now it remains only to choose which one best suits our needs. Leave down below in the comment section which one you are most interested in. And don't forget, if you liked the video, leave that thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.